Hey guys, welcome back to HD Arachnids. I'm Dave. We got my wife Helen behind the camera. Hi guys. And today's a real special day. It's my wife Helen's 41st birthday, so a real big shout out to Helen, obviously. Happy birthday. Uh, Thank you. So we got something really special for today, and we're going to show you guys what that is. We got spider mail. So we're going to show you guys, do a little unboxing, show you guys what we got in here. We're going to let you know who we got it from. We've gone through these guys before, and we really, really like them. And uh, kind of, you know, show you guys what we got. So we'll uh, go ahead and uh, readjust the camera here and get it set up, and then I'm going to go ahead and open this for you guys, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, well, here it is. We got this box from a, a really good company we've used uh, several times called uh, South Dixie Balls, Crawls, and Claws. It's owned by a guy named uh, Derek Thomas. Um, they have a group on Facebook. That's where we found them. You guys should definitely go check that out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get her open here. And, uh, and uh, there we go. Well, see what's inside. So we got some stickers here. That's a pretty cool looking sticker. Down. Can you see that? Down. There we go. Oh. That's a cool sticker. That is a really cool looking sticker. All right, a couple stickers. And like I said, we've used these guys several times. We've always had really, really good luck with them. Their packaging is always just really, really great. All right, let's see what we got here. Heat pack, still nice and warm. And a whole bunch of... And we actually ordered, we know what we got. Um, we got 50... H Giga slings, and we're gonna start off a communal of 10 because they are somewhat communal. There's a lot of controversy over whether or not they should be kept communally. I don't think they're really a true communal species, but they, they do seem to tolerate each other into adulthood. And we're gonna go ahead and start off with 10 of those in a communal and give it a try and see how it goes. And we're gonna start a little series on our channel about it and kind of keep you guys updated as to what's happening and how it's going and all that. There's a whole lot of stuff in there, in there. And then we also got a blue fang, which is the Ephibopus cyanonathus. And then we got a, another one, the Pseudohapilosis species purple and gold, which is really, really cool. Looks like we got 55. Oh, and it looks like he gave us a couple extras. Never complain about that. Thank you very much, Derek, if you're watching this. All right, and then there's the other two taped to it right there. So here we go. We got 50 H Gigases, all in one big one here. That ought to be real fun for. And then we got the other two slings right there. Let's just check and see if there's anything else in here, just to make sure. Oh, paper towels. I think that's everything. Yep. All right, let's get this cleaned up, and then we'll give you guys a shot of uh, the the two. Special spiders here, and then we'll do kind of a time lapse of us uh, rehousing all 55 of these because that's going to take us a little while. Well, we'll show you the communal part of it, of course, and then we'll uh, do a time lapse of all the other ones because we're going to rehouse those all singly. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves set up here, and then we'll uh, show you the spiders. <laughs> all right, folks, so we're going to start out with the Ephobopus cyanonathus. I think I'm saying that right. Ephobopus cyanonathus. That is the blue fang tarantula. Of course, we got our little bin here, just for safety's sake. Let's get the lid off of here. You got water in there? Yep, it's got water in it. It's ready to go. Oh, this thing's ready to go. Yep, cute little enclosure that Helen made here. Yeah, those things should already be blue, and then he'll be some really good coloration. Even with small slings, they have really good coloration. Do you need a paintbrush? I don't have a paintbrush handy. Good thinking. You grab a paintbrush. Here we go. A small one. Okay, paintbrush. All right, let's get this guy out of here very carefully. Okay. I hope he's not scared. I hope he's not scared. <laughs> All right, let's see what this little guy looks like here. Oh, there he is. I see him. Let's open that up. Oh, he's a little bigger than I thought he was going to be, actually. I'm trying to... Aww. He's a cute little thing, and they. Let's see if we can see that. Can you see if it's showing up? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna just go ahead and get this guy in his enclosure here. We don't want to cause any more stress than we absolutely have to. No, I don't see him. All right. 
that. And then hopefully we'll be able to show you guys a little bit better view of him here once we get him in the enclosure if he doesn't hide right away. Oh, look at that green booty. That's so cute. Can you see his fangs? No. Okay, let's get... Oh, yeah, you can see there's some blue there. That is a really, really pretty spider. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. You are so cute. So cute. We've been wanting this one for a while, so we're really happy to be able to finally get one. Oh, my gosh. He is so cute. Look at that, that is, button. Yeah, that is beautiful. Oh. oh. Don't jump out. Let's see if we can... Can you see him on the camera there, babe? Let's see. Yeah, not very good, but... Oh. Is that better? Yep. He's a really, really cute little guy, and we've been wanting one of these for a while, so... Now we have one. I see it. All right. Okay guys, well the next one we're going to do is the Pseudohapalopus Pseudo species purple and gold. And this is another one that I've seen pictures of online a few times, and I thought they were just a beautiful tarantula. And then I saw it available at South Dixie there, so I figured I better go ahead and jump on it. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy out of here. Alright. Just carefully pull this out with the tweezers. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and I'm not worried about it biting me or anything like that because it's just tiny. Oh, give him a little bite. give him a little roller coaster ride here. Still yeah, they can. Okay. Oh, he is much bigger than I thought he was gonna be. Oh. Alright, let's it's not with purple. Not yet. Can we see it on the camera there? Yeah. Alright, so that is the pseudohapalopus species purple and gold. And we're just going to go ahead and get him right into his whoop. Uh, He's going for a walk. Oh, he just walked right into the enclosure by himself. <laughs> that looks big. Okay, yeah, he does. He looks he's he looks well fed, that's for sure. So there he is. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. And that is the Pseudohapalopus species purple and gold. He's actually a lot bigger than I thought yeah. he would be. This is a dwarf tarantula. They don't get very big. But they just, they have amazing, beautiful colorations on them. No, oh, no. Oh, no. You, gotta, you gotta go back in there, buddy. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you should be all right. Let's get him in the violin. Oh, he's trying to make a run for it. <laughs> nope. Nope. Let's get him into this vial real quick and pop him back in there. There we go, buddy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now. You're fast. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right into the hide. All right, now Perfect. we'll put your lid on. Yeah, now we'll put the lid on. All right, guys, and those are the, the two that we were really, really looking forward to. Now we've got to do our, uh, we're going to set up our communal of 10 H. Gigas, and then we'll give you guys a little time lapse of us putting all the rest of them into their separate enclosures, which is going to be some fun. Yeah, they are in there. This is the, the 55 H. Gigas. They're all in here. I thought they were going to be all actually in just the one container, but they are all in separate vials. And straws so we're gonna you know get ourselves set up here and go ahead and get started on that part of the video all right okay all right. all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and get started on the h gigas communal now these guys are really small they're just second in star sling so we don't need a very big enclosure for them yet um right now it's just a amac box with a decent amount of substrate they do have to have a lot of substrate they burrow like profusely they, these guys we have several of them already and they're really really good burrowers and they also are a moisture dependent species you always need to make sure there's a moist layer of substrate down on the bottom you can see you know we overflowed right down here and this this bottom layer will get nice and moist and even if the top dries out a little bit they'll still be able to seek out their preferred moisture level and these guys as adults have actually been known to do some swimming and stuff like that so hopefully later on if the communal is successful we'll uh, be able to do like a kind of a big like paludarium type setup and have a little area where they might be able to do some swimming if they choose to do so but that's quite a ways down the road and we don't know if that's going to work they out swim? yet or not. Yeah, they actually swim. Yeah. Yeah. They've been known to catch fish in the wild and, and all sorts of stuff like that. 
So these are real, real tiny, and uh, some of them are packed up in straws, and some of them are in vials. We're going to go ahead and get started on uh, getting these guys into this enclosure here. And the let's see. Tiny. Yeah, I do like the straws, actually. A lot of people, you know, will say they don't really like the straws, but I think they, they work great. Okay, guys, we had a little bit of a camera malfunction there when I was getting that first thing out, so hopefully we got that straightened out. So we'll get this one out of the straw here, and we'll show you this guy, and then we'll proceed to get the other ones in there. They are so tiny. They are tiny, tiny little second end star slings. Oh. They're really cute. Oh, he's not in there. Is he on the devil? Oh, he's right there. He's right there. He's coming out to say hi. Oh. Gosh. All right, can we see that? Let's see. Mm, kind of, yeah. He's just so little. Yeah, just a cute little guy. They're real, real small. Oh. And we're going to get get 10 of these guys in here. Oh, he just decided to take a dive for it. So He's right. smaller than the That's other number one. two. Yeah, they're tiny. Tiny little second in star slings. As long as they haven't been growing fast, so... So we're just going to go ahead and... Get the rest of these guys in here. Oh, he's on there. Oh, look at that guy. They're so cute. There's a paintbrush here. So, what would happen if you would have packed them all like, together? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm not sure. It'd probably they'd, they'd be able to bounce around too much. Yeah. More. Let's see, this is what number. He's on the fish right there. Don't so we'll get this guy in here. Off there. Oh. This will be a real fun rehousing a communal of 10 of these guys. But I think it's going to be pretty cool. I yeah, but we've watched videos. Yeah, we've people watched plenty of videos. That have more than 10. We've done a little bit of research on it. And you know, this is a controversial communal species, like I said. Some people have had really good luck, other people tell you, nope, absolutely not. And we've had three of them in a communal setting before, but I got a little bit nervous. And I was, they did fine, didn't have any problems, but I got a little bit nervous and ended up rehousing them separately because I didn't want to have any casualties. But, but they, they so really did fine together. Yeah, they did fine together, so yeah. hopefully these guys will do all right. And I think, you know, once they hit like adult stage is when we might start seeing a little bit of an issue. Come on. But we're going to go ahead and do a series on this, like I said, and uh, we'll show you guys what happens with them. You know, we'll give you updates whenever we rehouse and probably do some feedings and stuff like that. Hopefully, get to see more than one at a time. And, you know, hopefully, uh, good or bad, we're going to share whatever happens with you guys, and hopefully, it'll be a really neat little series. This is a. Uh, a really cool spider. I like these guys a lot. We have uh, a couple of juveniles now that we actually got from the same place, from South Dixie. And, uh, they're doing really well. They're about the size of a half dollar, you know, something like that. And we just decided that uh, since this was such a good deal, we we're going to get a bunch, and we'll, we're definitely going to get rid of a few of them. But we're going to keep this communal and raise up some, and probably sell a few off, and yeah. Okay, go ahead, get down there, buddy. You're, there you go. You're at the four and a half minutes. Alright. This one here. And once it hits five minutes, you can just hit record again. Okay. It's one thing I hate about this camera is when you're recording in 4K, it only allows you to record five minutes at a time. It's really frustrating. Come on up, buddy. There we go. All right. So that was number seven. I got three left here. Oh, yeah, they are. Couple of them. They're a little bit different size, but yeah. that's to be expected. They're not all going to be exactly the same size, even in the same sack. They mature, or they not mature, but they, they grow a little bit slower or faster, and some of them will gain a little more size with them. Get on in there, buddy. There we go. 
Okay, two left. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this project goes, you know. I mean, like I said, it's a controversial communal species, but some people have had success all the way through adulthood with them, and uh, I'm kind of hoping that's how it goes for this. No, don't get nervous and separate the mini. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotta just, you know, let it play out. Because I think see what happens. they really and, did you know, fine. I think they'll do fine, too, but yeah. I want to see what happens and share the results with everybody, and then, you know, I mean, it's that much more knowledge that gets out there. I mean, other people, like I said, have been successful and other people have failed, so maybe I can help figure out what what makes it successful and what doesn't, I guess. I know that they need to be kept a little bit closer together, so, you know, kind of like with the pokey communals, you know, pokies are kind of semi-communal. If you keep them real close together so that they don't have, you know, a chance to develop their own territories and everything, I think the, the same thing kind of holds true with these guys. They just more so tolerate each other there rather than being like a, a true communal like a Balfour. Eh? Yeah, they don't want to get some of them. Yeah, we're going to get some of them too, of course. I would not want a pokey communal. No, I don't mm -hmm. think it. I saw Tom Moran's pokey communal with the Metallicas and that's oh. just way too much, way too much pokey in one, one enclosure for me. I mean, I do love pokies. They're one of, probably my favorite genus, but yeah, I don't know if I could do a communal, a communal with 10 of them. All right, guys, that's all 10 of them in here. I don't know if you can see any of these little guys wiggling around in there. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> They're in there. I said we'll uh, we'll keep you guys updated on uh, what's going on in this communal we're gonna make a little mini series out of it or you know kind of a series out of it and we'll just set up a playlist and I'll have all the videos in the same playlist and you guys can kind of follow this communal and how it's going not quite sure what I'm gonna name them so if you guys want to drop some name suggestions in the comments below you know maybe we'll yes whichever name suggestion gets the most likes is probably what we're gonna call them are we gonna call them one thing or ten yeah, different I think names? We'll, you know name it something like you know the you know Gygostopia or you know so, something along those lines. I mean you guys be creative and give us some suggestions and let us know what you think we should name them. Yes. All right well we're gonna go ahead and uh, get ourselves set up to do the other 45 of these <laughs> and uh, we'll do that in a time lapse so that you guys can kind of you know see us do it and, and then we'll go ahead and uh, end the video. So yeah. Okay guys, we got that all done. Actually, we finished it last night, but uh, 
I got the super late, so decided to finish off the video this morning. Just wanted to show you guys what they look like all all rehoused and ready to go in their containers. And that's all 45 of them, not counting the communal, which you guys saw earlier. I put in a little footage of that, and uh, yeah, pretty neat. Okay guys, well, that about does it for this video. As you saw in the footage I just put up, you know, we got everybody rehoused and in their enclosures and on the sling shelf up there, so that's all done. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this uh, communal setup goes. Um, you know, like I said, if you guys have any name suggestions or whatever, drop those in the comments below, and I think the one with the most likes is going to probably end up being what we end up calling it. A uh, big thank you goes out to uh, Derek Thomas from South Dixie Balls, Crawls, and Claws. Thanks for sending us an awesome box. As always, everything was well packaged and uh, good to go. We appreciate it, and, uh, you know, we kind of want you guys, you know, to get your name out there a little more, and hopefully this drives a little bit of business your way because you guys are great to deal with, so thanks a lot. Um, if you guys enjoyed this content, please feel free to subscribe, uh, check out our other stuff. Uh, hit that like button, of course, and uh, smash the notification bell so you guys get notified anytime we upload new content. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye for now.